paper. He's the funeral director in Detroit, in Georgia, and in Lake Wales. And I'm taking a look at a 1936 Buick. Now, I'm not even sure. I think it's a Century. We can look in that odometer and probably tell. But this was uh, always a uh, part of the identification is what it says on this engine. So you can see this is a flathead V8. And you can see here it's got the Buick 8 emblem and the bullet headlights and the bumper and the grill are all vintage including the hood ornament. How about that? Isn't that a nice hood ornament? So Janelle has owned this for over how long, John Al? 50 years. 50 years. Wow. So, if you're f not familiar with these dudes, the... Uh, I like your... your I, I may be slow, but I'm ahead of you. 1936 Buick. And look, he's even got the Buick 36 license plate. So, I'm not an uh, uh, expert on these old cars like these because they are so old and limited in the uh, just the supply that um, we're, why we don't know if this is a special or a century, and I know John L said that it's a century, and so we're gonna just try to prove that, but they used the same body for these back in 36. From what I understand, they took a break on the special for two years, so maybe they had made the century during that time period, but they resumed in 38, so whatever the production was in 36, uh, when you start taking two years out from 37 to um, to 30, 38, um, you actually didn't have to look at to the availability of these. It's, it's quite rare. Here's your front end. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and take a look on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Maybe give you a little peek inside, and we want to get a couple of things: the mileage. I see that clock. There's a clock in there. Uh, one of the things that we want to make sure about is the, uh, the, the metal and make sure there's not rust. So uh, I had actually gone and spoken to a gentleman who had done the auto body work here on this, painted it white from the original color green. Let's see if we can find any of the green on it right now that might give us a little clue what color it was originally. Look at that. Everybody knows I'm big on cowl tags and the uh, body tags. This is a tag here um, that would give you, you can get a little idea of that. That'll tell you uh, some pertinent information, the interior color, tell you the year it is to verify that year, 1936. It says it right on it probably tell you what factory it came from but I'm trying to see where we would see a little bit of that green color looks like they did a pretty good job of covering up all the areas of the other color but you got the firing order you got the Buick emblem you've got uh, some valve information here uh, silent oil cushioned how about that very cool. Really, really good find here. It's for sale. We have it for under $10,000 with low miles and uh, a great 1936. Probably a century. I'm going to guess it's a century and we'll, we'll find that out in a few minutes. Thank you.